We're going to go on to our feature of the evening. An incidence of mob lynching that rocked Kisi County in recent days have forced authorities to confront the question of superstitious practices in the region and particularly the contentious issue of witchcraft. In recent shocking cases, elderly women were targeted and killed by mobs on suspicion of practicing witchcraft. Government responded to the ghastly lynchings by forming a task force to interrogate the disturbing events in Kisi. That's right. Our very own Jeroge Gatete, who is at Jamori High School right now, but early in the week he spent time in villages across Kisi seeking to explain the trends of brutal death, destruction and distrust associated with witchcraft. A village in mourning, family and friends deep in sorrow, here to pay their last respect for Sabina Sindege Mayaka, Agnes Mura Ototo and Jemima Miringo at the Nyagonyi Secondary School grounds. The three elderly women met their deaths on the same day in the hands of irate mobs. Seventeenth October 2021 started as a normal day for Mama Sindege Mayaka, the 88-year-old grandmother who lives with her children on this piece of land in Manda area, was seated outside her house enjoying the warmth of the sun. One of her sons with her on that fateful day. Seemingly out of nowhere, more than a hundred youth armed with crude weapons burst into the compound and began forcefully removing Mama Mayaka's possessions from her house. The rowdy youth were accusing the widow of being amongst a coven of witches who had allegedly bewitched a Form 3 student in the area, then dragged her to this open field where she was savagely beaten before being set on fire using her own mattress and blanket. Pieces of her blanket and shawl still litter the scene of her murder. The killer mob then moved to the home of 60 year old Jemima Miringo, pleased by her daughter Janet Mora, fell on deaf ears. Jemima Miringo was frogmarched to this spot. A short trial followed, complete with a purported traditional witch identification parade. <laughs> A boy who had allegedly been bewitched singled out Jemima Miringo and there and then her fate was sealed. Her neighbor Agnes Ototo would face the same fate after a few minutes. The two women were burned to death together on suspicions of practicing witchcraft. <laughs> Six kilometers away, the fresh grave of the late 92-year-old Siraga Ongware is what you see as you walk into this compound. 
She was the fourth to be executed by the irate mob on that fateful day. The four are among a growing list of victims of mob lynching. Victims picked and killed on suspicion of witchcraft. <laughs> kama mama yako mama yangu wako mchao kwa maana hata miaka yangu nimefikia miaka 60 tangu anisari alikuwa anamja Mungu alikuwa anaenda kanisa kila Sunday sasa hii mambo vile alitendeka hata sisi tunashangaa sana October saw the sharpest rise in witchcraft related mob killings in Kisi Four years ago Two women were killed and their bodies burnt beyond recognition in Nyamira County on suspicion of practicing witchcraft. And as far back as 2009, five elderly men and women were also burnt to death in Iti village, Kisi County, on the same accusation with eyewitnesses seemingly helpless to stop the acts. The police in Kisi County are in shock over the witchcraft inspired spate of killings. Police language. We don't understand witchcraft. We understand law. If we allow criminals, people with such mentality to take over, we are not safe. We are not safe if we are not going to bring order. Thomas Nyakundi introduced himself to us as a reformed man. He claims he practiced witchcraft for over five years, having been inducted into the practice by his mother. He says his mother was lynched in Iterio village 21 years ago. Uh, nilikuwa mchawi nikiwa na miaka kumi na alie ningisa katika ichama ya uchawi alikuwa ni mama yangu ambaye ni msasi. Nyakundi's account of witchcraft, which could not independently be ascertained, was packed with bizarre details. Nikaanza kuosha maiti. Ninapoosha ile maiti ile machi kimwagika, tunaweka kwa ndoo, tunaweka kwa kibuyu, ile maji tunachukua, tunamwaga kwa nyumba ya mtu chuo. Ile machi ni mikosi, mtu ambaye amekufa anakuanga na mikosi fulani. Hii remote ambayo nilikuonyesha hapa, wakati nimeinua mkono chuo, sile nguvu sina sile madawa inaniinua. The turning point came when he lost his mother in that mob lynching in Iterio where 11 people were burnt to death. Sasa mama alipochomwa hapo ndio nikachukua hatua nilipotoroka wakati nilikimbizwa na mapanga nikapigwa ndio nikajipata nimetorokea kericho nikakaa kericho for 5 years. We visited the area where the lynching is said to have occurred over 20 years ago. The memories of that day are still fresh in the minds of locals. Akishikwa mmoja anasema si kuwa peke yangu, ilikuwa na mwingine. Na huyo akishikwa anasema si kuwa peke yangu, ilikuwa na wengine. Walikuwa wengi. At the rest, alienda as far as past constituents, past constituents. Akatoa mama mwingine pale. Watu waliwao akaenda as far as Machoge church. Residents claim that after the lynching the area started witnessing progress in education and development including growth of businesses. Kabra ya hiyo kitu hapa kwetu watoto wako kwa nasoma. Serious. Watoto wako kwa nasoma. Kijana anasoma tu akifika standard 7A ameharibika kabisa. Hapa tu kwa tunakuwa na ngombe wa grade kufuga ngombe tu. Here, they believe witchcraft and sorcery is a fact that they have lived with for years. Three times. Three times. mama, Hata na vijana wa furana wa miaka Kisi County Governor James Ongwae recently appointed a 14-member task force that will look into witchcraft myth. The minute you start believing in witchcraft, then uh, you you are in a in an area that is undefined. Don't even understand. Obino Nyambane is a member of the task force. This lynching is as a, as a suspect of allegations in association to huh, beliefs. Allegations in association to beliefs. But in the background, there is a drama. 
He believes a clash of cultures occasioned by colonial rules is partly to blame. What the church did not take care and the education system is the communal needs and uh, the law. Emegiro in our language. Emegiro is the constitution. Yawatu. In our constitution. Yeah? The social, family, and the clan constitution, which is not written. It was passed from a generation to a generation. It started being broken one by one. Don't do this, don't do that. Don't do that. If you do this, this repercussion will follow. Nyambane, however, believes that witchcraft has been used more as a pretext for different reasons. The factual things that we already know is that there is the issue of land. There is the issue of bad blood within fa families. There is the issue of drugs eh, with the young people. There is the issue of poverty. There is the issue of people who have not gone to school to understand environmental adaptations properly. The sentiments are shared by Joyce Kwamboka, a resident of Kenyanya, who claims she was targeted by those out to grab her land. Kwamboka says she still feels unsafe despite authorities' intervention. A number of elderly women in the affected area are now living in fear. When a witch is found, they always find exhibits which justifies why they are lynching that person. But lynching someone without evidence, that is wrong. We wondered and came to the conclusion that that was witch hunt. Religious leaders and activists in the region want the task force to work with speed and bring a lasting solution to the witchcraft menace. Lazima we synthesize our people. Lazima tufanya enough civic education kwa watu wetu wajue ku right ya mwanadamu ni nini. Kunyanganya mwingine maisha. Unaenda tu unakata na unaenda nayo ni vibaya. Number 2 our watu katika community, people need to live as brothers and sisters. They need to be brothers keeper. I want to appeal to the task force not to labor to find out who is a witch and who is not a witch, but to find out on how they can sensitize the society to acknowledge and to respect the elderly and that they, they come up with a way of uh, a system of teaching young people uh, to know that people grow old and when you become old it is not necessarily that you have become a witch. In Amatumaini Kwamba, after this people will have understood and you know vitisho can go into your head. Alavu na amini. Na ukiamini. So nataka jamii itoe mawazo yao katika hii imani potofu. Kwamba kuna uchawi kisi, labda nini. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. With the task force work cut out, survivors hope that a lasting solution will be found on time to protect other families from this vice which has left behind orphans, broken families and suspicion among neighbors. Music